My coverage of CES 2024 is brought to you by Cooler Master, Kioxia, Asus, and Gigabyte. Hey guys, continuing my coverage here at Lexar, they have a suite up in the Venetian and they have a wall of memory products. We have some DDR5, we've got some external storage drives. We have some very fast NVMe M.2 SSDs. So let's see what they got on display. We got card readers, portable SSDs, we have memory cards, and then the components that you guys are probably most interested in over here. So that's where we're gonna start. You guys have probably already seen me uh, do some system builds with the Lexar Ares RGB DDR5 memory. They're expanding the lineup and increasing the speeds. So going up to 6400, 6800, 7200, 8000, all the way up to 8400. I got the cheat sheet here so you guys can just take a closer look at the speeds of all the memory kits that they're coming out with. From 5600 mega transfers per, per second all the way up to 7200. And look at those higher speed ones, 6800 and 7200, still keeping the cast latency nice and tight at CL34. And then they have a new design in the works. It wasn't quite ready for the show, so we don't have a, like a physical one that I can pick up here, but they've expanded the RGB bar across the top, sticking with a similar design for the lower part, but they have gotten a lot of positive feedback for their initial Aries design. So let me know, even though you can't see the whole thing, what you guys think of this new design. And that one's gonna go up to even higher speeds. There are the stats for that one. 8,000 mega transfers per second and 8,400 at CL40. They're expanding the kits to 2x24 gig, and I'm told that we'll also be adding 64 gig kits, 2x32 gigs, and that will be coming in March, so later in Q1. Just below that, we have the Thor DDR5 desktop memory. I did some uh, pre-roll ads for this, so you guys might have seen that. I do like the design that they have on this memory, like uh, the sort of little detail they have around the edges, because it is Thor-themed memory, of course. And here they're listing 5,600 and 6,000 mega transfers per second speeds. They're coming out with a 6,400 speed kit as well. And they're also gonna be expanding this to 64 gig kits too. So you'll be able to buy two by 32 gig variants of Thor DDR5, which is a good choice if you're not into the RGB thing, because not everyone's into that. And these will also be priced a little bit more aggressively than the Ares RGB up, up above. Portable SSDs, these are more gaming oriented and I showed you guys the SL660 Blaze. Apart from being an external storage device going up to one terabyte in capacity, it also has RGB around the edges there. There are no changes to this device, but if we cheat over here really quick, they're coming out with a professional SL600. So if you're professional, obviously RGB, you know, maybe, maybe you don't wanna roll into a meeting with that. So basically the same device, but without the RGB. And again, it's gonna be slightly better priced. If any of you guys are rocking a Steam Deck or perhaps like an Asus ROG Ally, uh, here is perhaps a device you might be interested in, the Play Micro SDXC card. They've increased the write speed on this, which is gonna be great if you're trying to copy like a game that, you know, is gonna take up a lot of storage. Capacity goes up to one terabyte on this, so this is gonna be a great solution for gaming devices that's just plug and play. For products like the Steam Deck, that would work as well, uh, using the micro SD card reader, but we also have this for folks who are interested in actually opening up their Steam Deck, or ROG Ally, or any of the numerous uh, handheld portable gaming devices that are becoming a little bit more ubiquitous. You need a very small M.2 NVMe SSD to fit in there. So Lexar now has the Play 2230, PCIe 4.0, M.2 2230, so it's only 30 millimeters long, and a great solution to add a lot more storage to your portable gaming device. And also, look at those read and write speeds. 5,200 megabytes per second reads, 4,700 megabytes per second writes. This one is using an SLC dynamic cache. Above that, we have the NM790. If you've been watching my channel and like the build that we did for Joe for his editing system, we used eight of these four terabyte models uh, in that system, which is gonna be absolutely beastly. Gen 4, 7,400 megabytes per second read, 6,500 megabytes per second writes. There's also the NM800 Pro, which is a slightly upgraded version of that, slightly faster on the read and write speeds. And here you're also gonna have a dedicated DRAM cache rather than allocating part of the NVMe storage for SLC cache purposes. That should get you better sustained performance overall and uh, allow you to more consistently hit those advertised read and write speeds. And look at the capacity here. They're coming out with an eight terabyte version. It's like we need to update Joe's editing system. Above that we have the really, really fast one, a Gen 5 drive. This is the NM1090. It's going up to 12,000 megabytes per second reads, 11,000 megabytes per second writes, and being a Gen 5 drive, the controllers on these can get a little bit toasty, especially with long sustained read and write operations. So it does have active cooling with a little blower fan installed there. And it even has RGB. It's not plugged in right now, so you can't see, but it's got a little ring of RGB lighting there. So, you know, it's gonna get you much higher frame rates in your games. That's what RGB does, right? 
But there is the NM1090, and it's going to be available initially in capacities up to four terabytes. For any of you filmmakers or videographers or photographers out there, I wanted to quickly highlight Lexar's family of memory cards. They have a wide range, including some of the latest standards like CF Express 4.0. This is a CF Express 4.0 Type B card. Funny thing about this one, there are no cameras that this will currently work with. Those cameras still need to come to market, but when they do, Lexar will be ready with this little CF Express 4.0 Type B card going up to 3600 megabytes per second reads, 3300 megabytes per second writes, sustained write speeds up to 3200 megabytes per second. So even if you're rocking a camera that's currently uh, the CF Express Type B standard and not 4.0, this is backwards compatible. So you could still use it with an existing camera if you don't want to wait for one of the updated ones to come out. And then if you're using the card reader, you're still going to be able to take advantage of those, primarily the read speeds at least, when you're copying all of your masses of 4K or 6K or 8K raw footage off of your camera. Just to the right, we have SDXC and SDHC uh, compatible SD cards, and that's what I'm currently using because I'm still using a somewhat older Panasonic Lumix GH5 to shoot most of my videos, but this is the SD card that I am capturing all of my footage on for CES and actually pretty much all of my videos recently. And, uh, they're really nice cards. It's really great to be able to transfer files off of them at 300, 260 megabytes per second, uh, which is a big upgrade over the ones I was using previously, which would top out at 50 to 80. Here's a little micro SDXC card, the Professional Gold UHS-2. This one is a very uh, popular seller for Lexar because it works great with action cameras, drones, those higher end drones that have like really nice 4K cameras attached to them. You want to have a lot of storage as you're flying around and getting your, you know, footage of the world or beautiful things out there, I imagine. But more to the point, if you're not into action cameras and drones, this is also a great upgrade for a portable gaming device like the Asus ROG Ally, a device that has a micro SD expansion card, up to 256 gigabyte capacity and decent read and write speeds as well for uh, writing the footage to the SD card or copying it off of it. And rounding things out over here, we have some updated portable SSDs. This is the Armor 700. It's meant to be portable, but also rugged. It has a bit of a rubberized finish, which I'm not sure if you guys can tell. It almost looks metallic at first glance, but this is a very nice finish, and that means it's drop resistant, rated to actually IP66 rating. They've recently had it uh, reevaluated, and it does have an even better rating than what is listed here. So with 2000 megabytes per second reads and writes, you're already getting really good performance out of the drive. And then this is a great add-on for something like a Blackmagic camera or devices that can write directly to an external storage device via a USB-C connection. It is compatible with that as well. So it supports up to 6K raw video in that instance. I already covered the SL600. Here's the SL500. This is a little bit more portable. It's a very nice thin design. Having, a, having your portable SSD be nice and portable is very handy. And I'm told this would be a great solution if you have like one of the newer iPhones that has a USB type C connection because those can also record externally. So having something thin and light like this, that you can maybe attach to your phone. If you're using your phone for a lot of video recording or something like that, you're gonna get plenty of storage with capacities up to four terabytes and 2000 megabytes per second reads, 1800 megabytes per second writes. And you're probably gonna want a card reader. So Lexar has you set up with that as well. We have uh, this one down here, which is CF Express type B compatible. It also has a full-size SD slot there, so you can use either one. You can, use, you can also use both at the same time. That's one thing that I really appreciated with the uh, Lexar card reader that I'm currently using. Here's the CF Express Type A compatible card reader. You also have the full-size SD card slot. You can, of course, pop a micro SD card into an adapter to still use that. They've done away with the dedicated micro SD slot in this, but I have confirmed that you can use both of those card readers at the same time. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for my quick rundown of Lexar's new products here at CES 2024. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button. I'll post a link to Lexar's website down in the description below. Also, a big thank you to my sponsors for CES 2024, Kyoxia, Cooler Master, Gigabyte, and Asus. I have more videos coming at you real soon, so check out the playlist. Check out my store if you want to buy some merch. We'll see you all in the next one. Yay!